What's up everybody, Magic with RacingDudes.com here to watch the Grade 1 American Pharaoh Stakes at San Anita Park. Uh, Greeters Cup winning unit for the Juvenile and a Kentucky Derby prep race. Uh, mile the 16th race, this is exactly where they're going to be holding the Breeders' Cup Juvenile in uh, just four weeks here. Uh, Bob Baffert's move getting all of the attention here in this race. Uh, BU shipped in for Todd Pletcher. We've seen him have uh, some really big runners uh, today at Keeneland. Um, but Muth, of course, is going to be the pick. This is Bob Baffert's race after all. So give me Muth to win. And give me the four wind me up. Say they're off. Oh, no. The three next level stumbled. He's okay. He got up, but um, went right to his knees. And as a Keith, the Sormel trainee can't. Did a good job holding on. Anyways, wind me up. The other Bob Baffert goes out to the lead. Muth goes off at 2-5. to five. He's going to follow right in behind. Wind me up on the rail. A raging torrent goes out too wide, which forces El Magnifico to be three wide. A little bit of a gap back to the 6 BU. Still a maiden, uh, but trying a mile in the 16th for Todd Pletcher after uh, a decent effort in the grade one hopeful stakes. By the way, second place in the hopeful Timberlake. Won today in the Champagne uh, at Belmont at the Big A. 23.3 sensible fraction early here. Uh, Vasquez seems to be giving the wind me up a lot of rain to just do whatever he wants there. Uh, Raging Torrent still giving pressure. The 8, El Magnifico, is uh, dropping out. Um, he was climbing a bit there. He didn't... Okay, he seems okay. He's not being pulled up, and he's actually still... Well, he's, he's not going to pursue at this point, but at least he's not completely dropping. Wind me up, by the way. Dispatches of Raging Torrent. BU following behind Muth, who takes second, is now tipping out to go after his Bob Baffert's stablemate. Pretty fast, 110 and 1. And can BU go after the Bob Baffert duo? This is going to be a showdown. Baffert versus Baffert. Oh, yeah, Muth has got this. Look at that. He is taking off. He knows this is his race. Muth is going to win. Great runner-up effort from Wind Me Up. And Frank Miramati is having a lot of fun with the call as well. Uh, Muth going to the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Probably going to be a very solid second choice to Locks, who won the uh, Breeders' Futurity earlier at Keeneland. Uh, third going to the Todd Pletcher trained BU. Um, I don't... I wouldn't send him to the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Todd, don't do it. You were a very distant third. Um, he's still a maiden. Todd always does it. Every year, it seems like Todd's got a maiden that is good enough to compete in the graded stakes races, but he hasn't won. And he's just like, he keeps showing up. And is this the time? Is this the time? Is this the time? So, uh, command performance comes to mind is the most famous there. But Muth, really great effort. Uh, it's finishing time, uh, six and three. So, um, not, not super fast. Uh, they went 25 and four, 20, sorry, 25 and three. Ooh, that's a bad stumble there for the for the next level. 25 and 3 from the three-quarter to the mile. So slower times, but they went quicker early. I did like that effort from the two. Oh, that's such a bad. Stop replaying it. I don't want to keep looking at that. Um, good efforts from Muth and from Wind Me Up. Muth did what he needed to and, and just stormed home. Did a great job, I thought, of sitting off the pace and letting Wind Me Up do the work. I'd send, if I'm Baffert, if I'm the connections, the owners, I'd send both of those horses. Yeah uh wind me up um it did a great job i mean this was wind me up second career start wind me up had a six furlong dirt sprint that he won gate to wire but he's by vino rosso out of a kitten's joy mare you just saw what he did at two turns that was the first time trying it first time facing winner second career start and he ran like that i would send both of the breeders cup I think both of them have legit chance at the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Muth obviously was uh, the, the higher touted of the two. Um, he is a horse that uh, Juan Hernandez, the top rider for Bob Baffert, when asked to, to choose between Muth and Wind Me Up, he went with Muth. So clearly you know who he likes as well, but not discounting either one. Those are my thoughts on the Grade 1 American Pharaoh Stakes at San Anita Park, a winning for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and a Kentucky Derby prep race what did you think about this tell me your thoughts down below in the comments section before you leave hit like on the video subscribe to youtube.com slash racing dudes make sure you visit racingdudes.com for free picks for every race every track every day across the country and if you're looking for more breeders cup coverage 
This is the last race of literally every winning year in prep that we've had all day. I've done. Uh, it's been fun. There have been a lot of great races. Do me a favor. Go back and check it out, please. Uh, leave your thoughts on each race in the comment section. Love to interact with you guys in the comment section there. We're building the Racing Dudes community. We're building towards 14,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, we want you to be part of that. So please do so. Until next time, have fun. Good luck. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. It's Breeders' Cup season, and we've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the World Championships. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash RacingDudes right now. Click the notification bell. You never want to miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.